because Dutch has um, updated us on, updated us, updated his fans mostly concerning everything that's been happening. Well, I kind of sound like him now, because everything that's been happening in my life and that. You get me? Yeah, bro. Um, but yeah, Dutch Avelli has updated his fans and the UK hip hop rap community at large concerning the very 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 serious allegations that are lobbied against him the last week or so um concerning his um dms being leaked by a hacker um first the dms were pretty innocent there were some pretty embarrassing cringy dms between him and drake where he was essentially trying to petition for himself to be the head of ovio london um videos of him sending drake instagram stories of him listening to drake's songs whilst rolling up a blunt you know kind of fanboy stuff but you could kind of excuse that he's a rapper in his mid-20s you know newly found fame uh drake obviously has a bit of a soft spot for uk people to have his ear in general to have him following on social media you definitely be guessing it but that's about he's 27 years old i can definitely see him being very very happy that you know drake is following him on his social media so that kind of interaction wasn't that much of a big deal then it obviously progressed and we saw some other dms between him, so him and some young ladies and again that wasn't much of an issue then there was a bit of an issue with one of them who sort of looks a bit like a child but she's obviously of a legal age um to be in a, some sort of intimate relationship with so that wasn't necessarily much of an issue it was another dm with another ex-girlfriend and then we saw another bit of dms um that another girl leaked herself via her own private um instagram stories with her friends and family or somebody then put out there this young white girl and it just seemed again from my own point of view looking at it from the outside in just a newly found a bit of newly found fame for a young rapper coming up in the scene and just essentially saying yes to everyone that started into his dms now is that advisable would I advise somebody if i was a manager and tell them hey respond well to it, respond positively to every single lady that slides into your dms when you're newly rich and famous probably not it's probably not a good idea you're probably gonna get yourself jammed up you might get trapped somewhere it might be you know set up it might be whatever it just might not be a good situation for you in the, in the future just take your chill pill and relax ain't no need to do that so far but hey i understand where he's coming from but then of course the allegations got a lot more serious when and that when the hacker i guess the same person um somehow un uncovered other messages that weren't somehow leaked with the first batch of messages i don't know why that was but regardless we saw these other messages that pertain to dutch Avelli, um allegedly being involved in the conversation or allegedly he was involved in the conversation with a 14 year old girl who happened to be the daughter had to be related to somebody that used to manage him who unfortunately passed away so obviously naturally you know the you know uk people in general just all across the world in general you know we'd have a bit of an aversion with um adult men speaking to children it's definitely not something that anyone kind of tolerates under any circumstances i think in the uk we have a bit of a uh an aversion to it in general we seem to just not put up with that whatsoever so it was natural that you know the, in, the social media went a bit crazy with it everyone sort of shared their opinions we saw more dms come out we saw the way that he was talking to the a said 14 year old and it just seemed to be very grossly 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 inappropriate for somebody of his age and also considering their close family familial relationship it just didn't seem to make any sense why he'd want to be talking to a 14 year old via his dms now that being said i still think it's a stretch to say that there was anything more than what we saw now would i be happy if that was my um sister if that was my niece and i saw her talking to somebody of his age of his stature in the dms of course not would i want her to be around him anymore going forward probably not but in terms of accusing somebody of being a paedophile being a nonce i think that's a, probably a step too far um considering what we've seen on the messages but the concerning thing would just be the reaction around his family and friends right that was a really worrying part of it because i think if somebody's made a bit of a booby in terms of just being a little bit too horny in a dm just in general forget the 14 year old just in general that's understandable but when it involves a 14 year old there needs to be a bit of a stronger message to come out in terms of distancing yourself from those allegations and making it very well known that hey i am not this person that you're painting out to be here's what happened here's the facts and this is it 
you can't just let these stories rumble on. And I guess the fact that Dutch was involved, this story when it happened, he then decided to, I, I guess he was going to Dubai anyway, but he went to Dubai to film a video, wherever he was going to do or escape, like most rappers was doing for, to escape lockdown, they all went to Dubai to go and hang out. He happened to be in Dubai at the same time the story was rumbling. He didn't really want to address it directly. Then we had leaked messages of Steph London, supposedly um, getting into a bit of a argument or back and forth with another relative of the 14 year old girl then we had the other sister essentially trying to throw mud on Crepton Conan's name based on what the allegation was alleged to her brother then we had the mum coming out saying some absolutely crazy shit like it just seemed like they were moving in a way that would lead you to believe that these allegations had some level of truth to it and they're just trying to distract the public from what was actually going on and that was a weird part of it it was like these aren't just like you know no one's no one's accusing this guy of like I don't know, he's not just cheating on, like, which is bad anyways, is, but he's not cheating on his baby mother, do you know what I mean? This is him allegedly trying to arrange a meetup of a 14-year-old relative. Like, this is ridiculous, isn't it? This is, like, a really serious allegation. He never said anything about it. And again, the story kept changing. So, um, fortunately, well, the, fortunately, I guess, for himself and his career, he's decided to finally come out and speak about it and sort of lay it out there and sort of say his piece regarding the issue. And I'll just play four minutes of it and I'll kind of give my... Um, thoughts and opinions regarding what he has to say as we watch the video but I'll try and let as much of it roll back I know it can be a bit annoying if I keep pausing the video so let's just play what Dutch Valley here has to say uh, regarding the issue so uh, the caption says the following all the negative so all the negativity aside I don't want to uh, I do want to thank everyone that's hit me up on my people and my family to ask what really was happening uh, those to me are the people that really care and matter to me the most not the ones hopping online making videos stating that I'm guilty and paying off somebody's mum without knowing the facts there are a lot of fake messages going around on social media platforms which to me is just sick and sad and this is the level some people have stooped to okay um they have no idea how much this has affected the families involved again i just want to thank my fans and my supporters i saw you writing for me i've uh, i've seen the dms you guys generally knew something wasn't right and held off bashing me or completely writing me off and for that i will always be uh give you my all in this music thing i'm about to go harder than ever kind of a bad thing to say there but hey let's continue yo people man's adjusting the situation isn't it? God, most of it is just dumb. I just want to stick to the facts. I want to stick to the facts of the situation. You know what I mean? So the first fact is I got hacked and targeted. Do you understand? So obviously, whoever's done this, they've deleted bare shit off my Instagram, as you can see, if you follow me. They've deleted bare shit off my page. They've deleted shit in my DMs. They've got messages. They've altered and edited them, which you can clearly see. But listen to this, yeah? The first fact is, yeah, this is the United Kingdom. We don't live in a third world country, bro. Do you understand? If that was real messages that you saw, just know I would get arrested. Do you understand? We live in a country where the system has a duty of care for a child. So that means if you post an underage girl's address on, on the internet, yeah, we have hip hop police as well. If you post an underage girl's address on the internet, the police has to go to that house, yeah, and check on her for her safety, they have now this is obviously something that you'd hear a lot of people that are incarcerated say because i guess they have a lot of experience with police and laws and all that malarkey but to somehow suggest that just because the police haven't arrested you that doesn't mean you're guilty is quite an insane statement to make but again if he honestly thinks he hasn't done nothing wrong i get it but it's an insane way to defend yourself just because look i didn't get arrested like no one's gone after me so that means nothing there's nothing to the story um of course the police have a duty of care but they're going to investigate it they're going to question the family if the family don't want to carry on um pursuing any charges against you then the case will matter will probably be dropped they might have somebody analyzing from afar wherever it may be but to suggest that somehow just because the police haven't arrested you you're okay is a wild statement but hey have a duty of care and check on the whole family in fact they have a duty of care to do that do you understand that so the police have gone to do that do you understand they've gone through the situation with the family do you understand they've the family has put out a statement saying this is fake news and fabricated messages the mom the children they've all put out a message saying this are fabricated messages do you understand 
Then people say, oh, you pay them. Bro, do you know how sick you are, bro? If someone was molesting your daughter, bro, or trying to groom your daughter, are you going to accept payment for that, bro? To not press charges on them? Are you silly or something? Is your mum going to do that for 50 bags? I'm not Michael Jackson, bro. So people are saying for 50 bags, this was going on. You have to understand what you're talking about. These are some disgusting things you lot are saying. Would maybe your mum will take 50 bags for that? Interesting point he makes about the Michael Jackson film because there was, if you remember watching the never the documentary where is it Fire Neverland where the three guys or two guys over there were um, basically alleged that Michael Jackson sexually assaulted them when they were younger. When we people watched that documentary, there was a lot of conversation online about people just wondering like how could the parents allow their children to be around Michael Jackson knowing that he was purposely asking them to sort of like stay behind, let them go in a room to alone together. Like why would they allow that kind of scenario to ever kind of transpire transpire in front of their eyes, right? And I remember someone saying something really smart. It might have been Joey Diaz or someone said like, Oh, you don't understand the the power of celebrity. The power of celebrity can sometimes make you do and make you excuse things that you probably would never excuse in your everyday life it does something to you right it, and again we maybe from the outs maybe because it's us and we're young maybe, maybe we can speak to a younger audience i don't know what it is but i'm assuming there is something because i don't pay attention to a lot of these people like day to day but if you are paying attention day to day and you're the people that you're the people you listen to in your walkman and your sorry, walkman, on your itunes or your spotify and stuff they are bona fide stars and celebrities to you in the same way michael jackson would have been to those kids when they were younger right they're on like a sort of exalted level right you sort of look up to them right which you shouldn't they're your idols whatever they may be that's not obviously a good way to go about life but i'm sure that some people do look at these people um uh in a different way than i probably would do right because you know or somebody that doesn't necessarily have the um ties to them or isn't that much in, involved in their music whatever it may be right the point of the matter is if you're a celebrity you definitely can get away with the things that are being alleged that he has basically done because of your notoriety that is 100% a thing. And I guess maybe he's making a Michael Jackson point, maybe because he's saying, oh, I'm not Michael Jackson. I don't have Michael Jackson level money. How much do I need to give somebody to for them to allow me to do X, Y, and Z? Again, it's just a gross point to make. It doesn't necessarily need to be said if that isn't necessarily a thing that you actually did. I guess you sometimes it's good to maybe put that out there and say, hey, I'm not this guy. But again, considering the allegations that are levied against Michael Jackson, considering the fact that some people generally believe that he did those things because he was such a big star that he was able to somehow get the mums and the parents in his spell and they excuse certain things just so they can be next to him. That's what a star celebrity and power and fame does, which is why you see kids standing outside of flipping department stores waiting for their favorite celebrity to come out of the store and running to a car just so they can be in that ambience and have that electricity of all their other stands standing around them that's what it does to you so to suggest that somehow that couldn't extend to a family member accepting a situation that they probably wouldn't accept for somebody else outside the family is a bit naive do you get it but let's just be honest bro these people have came out and said what they need to say this is fake news bro in an official statement bro you know posted this and girls address on the internet they've had been getting death threats all of these things they've been they had to move houses these people are like family to me. I just want to stick to the facts. My label have access to my Instagram account and my management team has. There's three guys on my management team. The whole industry knows if I'm lying, I'm dying. They've all got underage daughters, bro. They're all active on my Instagram account. They can post when they want. They can message someone if they want. They can look at my messages if they want. I've never told them they're not allowed to do that. They, they are the first people that if you know anyone in my team, you will contact if you can't get through to me and ask what's going on. And shout out to the people that did. I respect it, you understand? And they've explained everything to them. You know what I mean? Now, I don't have an issue with this version of the story, if this is the truth. I don't have an issue with it. I don't think anyone would have an issue with it. If this was the story, if this is the version of the story that we got in the beginning, the way the family have been moving, regardless of what's actually occurred behind the scenes, just makes you think, is this actually legit though? That's the issue. You could, If you would have come out of this before and start, it would have been fine. 
we've seen examples of the Krypton Conan thing, right? The moment one of his sisters, I think, allegedly tried to throw some mud on his name at leisure, he was involved in something underage. He immediately came out very strongly, put it in under certain terms. Am I accepting somebody slandering my name in such a way? I'm going to proceed with legal proceedings, put out some proof bits and pieces, da, 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 but it nipped it in the bud very quickly. Same way that Justin Bieber did. Again, Justin Bieber is probably a bad example because he has different types of resources. But in terms of level of, but in terms of the celebrity that they are right he's young actually Valley, i'm sure most of his communication with girls and these things have mostly occurred through these social media platforms so he's able to kind of compile some amount of information and receipts and whatever it may be you can clear your name in the same way that justin bieber did when he was alleged to have essentially a sexual assault i think two fans as a meet and greet or something and he was able to nip that in a bud in you know in 24 hours with a few receipts pictures from other stand accounts and all this sort of stuff and you know um testimonies from uh, ex-girlfriends whatever it may be but the moment this story came out we had so many different versions of what actually happened we had if you remember the mom came out and allegedly said something along the lines of oh she was the one that was sliding into dachevelli's dm through, through her daughter's dms and that was already off because supposedly that is the what are they really that, that person's related to his old manager so what was he trying to hook up with his old managers it just it just doesn't make any sense that way that was the side of the story that was true then you've got Steph London's side of the story where she was basically alleging to the boy that was involved in the story who's on the 14 year old girl side of the family that hey she was maybe essentially gaslighting him and saying oh you're only doing this stuff because I because your father passed away or every uncle don't take it out on Dutch which is already smad um, and of course him coming out saying that you know it's a member of my family it just seemed very far-fetched that a hacker would go into his account leak all these images and texts of him with people with celebrities in the industry and then purposely go and edit clips or screenshots or messages from his messages with a 14 year old in order to make him look bad it just doesn't make any sense i think when i said it in the beginning point blank period he shouldn't be talking to any 14 year old in his dms doesn't matter if it's your family no 14 year old should be involved in the conversation with dachevelli right that message should be going straight into your other fault it shouldn't be you shouldn't even be seeing it it should just be a thing it just gets dealt with an auto reply thanks for reaching out to dachevelli here's a link to my you know my flipping fan page buy a mug buy the new album whatever it may be right keep it moving but you shouldn't be involved in any sort of conversation you shouldn't be talking about toes you shouldn't be talking about ruby rose pictures recreations that shouldn't be ever happening and i think the moment you saw those messages unfortunately alarm bells naturally were going to ring and no matter how much they explain it you're always going to have a little bit of a doubt in your head about what exactly happened and again especially when you consider the amount of time that's elapsed um if anything i've learned especially in these last few months looking at some of these stuff happening with celebrities on social a lot of the a lot of the sort of um a lot of the points that you win on social because again unfortunately you are kind of try you know uh try yeah it's, it's essentially trial by social media for most of these occasions it shouldn't be obviously but it unfortunately it is it does this it does help if you get in front of the story and you get your story right at the beginning and stick to it even if you're lying it really does help but if you have various different members of your family coming out and fighting different parts and start defending you in different ways, then you are seemingly trying to defend yourself in different ways. Then you don't defend yourself and then you finally come out and say this. It does definitely seem like a bit of a calculated collective uh, effort to ensure your career doesn't fail. And of course, I've said it before, like, I understand the pressure involved, right? There's a lot of money involved with Dutch There's a lot of people, you know, essentially paying their mortgage of the success of his of his success so for sure they're going to go above and beyond to make sure that they can explain this away as best as they can because they can't afford to have him you know not be successful i get it i understand but they also have to be understandable or understanding of why people are a little bit skeptical about how they've explained and about how they've dealt with it now again if the family are okay with it they put out a statement and said they're completely fine with how that talks, talks are there um niece nephew or niece um daughter whatever it may be then that's okay we have to move as i think as a 
as fans or with people from the outside, we have to move on. If the family are okay with it, we have to move on. You can't be going around messaging people, um, going to people's houses, making them move homes. If what they're just saying is true, that completely is obviously overboard. Um, but I think people are allowed to have reservations, but if the family want to move on and they're okay with it, then we have to be okay with it as well. These people have daughters as well, bro. Don't get it twisted, bro. This is not no fucked up situation, bro, where people are trying to cover for each other, bro. If my brother was talking to an underage girl like that, bro, I would have fucked with him, bro. In fact, I would expose him, bro. What does it mean like that? Does it mean like the way he was talking to them? Or does it mean like the way that we he thinks we think he's talking to them? Because those, again, let's just be very clear. Those messages, doesn't matter who that person is to you, are weird. That's what we need to say. It's like, um, do you remember that guy from um, Back Chat? When you're touching up his mum in the kitchen, right? What is that guy? You're touching up his mum's bum, right? Regardless of how you explain that, that is not that's not normal. That's weird, right? We are, you, we're always going to respond negative to that, no matter what their relationship is at home. We as a public are always going to say that is mad that you're feeling up your mum's bum in the kitchen. That's just odd, right? It's just weird. It's some incest shit, and we're never gonna we're never gonna look around and say yeah, that's completely normal. It's like how when you see celebrities and you see them kissing their children on the mouth when they're over. 10 years old it's just odd it is what it is now if they're okay as a family with it behind closed doors and no one's complaining cool it's not it's not um it doesn't make sense for you to kind of be protesting outside of their house with picket signs and shit um you know leaving hateful comments on their posts all the time if the family are okay they're okay with it but we as a public are allowed to say you know what that's weird and it is weird you shouldn't be talking to your 14 year old family member niece and telling her about toes and shit and telling her about you want to recreate pictures and you know sending her it just it just you know all that ha ha he he sort of action on dms with a 14 year old shouldn't be happening regardless especially if they're a family member especially a family member of somebody that's deceased it's like yikes that's the truth of the matter stop the narratives and the false lies and these fake news that's going around Oh yeah, man's talking to a minor, bro. You understand? My label's still backing me 100%. Car, they've got Instagram. They've got... So he's saying... Well, what is he saying there? Is he saying that he's not speaking to a minor? So I guess he's trying to align himself more with that story from the beginning that was like, oh, I was talking to the mum through the young girl's IG. Is that what he's trying to say? Because... You were talking to her, though, innit? Who was talking to her then? Was it his three label mates or managers that have his access to his Instagram? And again, there's not, we can't even... This is the issue with all this stuff. Who knows what's true, innit? That it would just would have been beneficial to have heard him say this in the beginning because you know he could have avoided all necessary rumors it could have avoided all the trouble that his um this girl's family allegedly got themselves or you know had to kind of endure all this kind of hassle of people you know essentially doxing them online stuff it would have avoided all of this if you just would have come out in the beginning and said hey this is the issue i know this message didn't look mad but previous assured this is my family blah, 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 blah. whatever just that should have been said in the beginning not all this weight in posturing around dubai threatening people like it just came across weird and that's the that's the issue there but let's continue my instagram access i've never ever had a problem with them having access with my instagram account it's not a secret place i'm still on all the dsps do you understand if this was real news you lot are talking about but that doesn't necessarily mean anything if the family aren't want, well, don't want to press any charges and don't see anything wrong with it of course why would you the record label is always the last place to react to you yeah it, that's what it seems like right? record labels are like football clubs when the footballer gets involved in some sort of madness outside of football they're the, usually the last place that decides whether or not they want to kind of step away or align themselves or not align themselves with the player at, that's been accused so the fact that he's trying to um suggest that because his record label stuck by stuck by him that's that's some kind of win and that sort of proves his innocence that's not exactly what happened what's happened is that the family hasn't necessarily persuade pursued any charges no one's willing to go on record and say what he's done or what he's alleged to have done is wrong so it's a non-case so what is the record label going to do? Are they going to drop you because of a rumor or because of something they've heard online? That's not necessarily how it works, isn't it? So it's it's a little bit of a semantic game. But again, I understand this is career. A lot's on the line, but, you know, let's be real here. They would take me off of every platform, bro. We know how this works, bro. We're not stupid, bro. You understand? Stop playing with my name for like and clout, yeah? And just keep it factual, guys. You understand? So this is for the people who had genuine questions and concerns. Do you understand? So 
Say to the people that's hit man up, been supporting man through this, no, that's bullshit, that no man, 100%. You understand? And then that's it. Save. So what do you think? Do you believe the guy or not? Um, personally, I'm, you know, again, if the families are okay with it, then I'll just move on. I'm not going to waste any more energy, you know, keep, keeping my eye on it that much anymore. Um, you know, if the family are okay, if the girl's safe, all that malarkey, that's what basically matters. Of course, unfortunately for Dutch, this is always going to be a stain on his name. You know how it works on social. People are always going to have jokes. People are always going to let off certain <laughs> names and phrases already. I've been seeing kind of being banded around on social already kind of, to, you know, entered into our current lexicon. So that's going to be an unfortunate thing he's going to have to just deal with going forward. But hopefully this is a lesson learned for anybody else out there. Look at the difference in the approach from the Krepton Conan guy. Oh, I think it might have been Conan specifically. I forgot which one it was, but whoever it was who addressed the allegations right off the bat didn't let any sort of lingering doubt kind of persuade in the scene and sort of addressed it front on threatened legal action and sort of kind of you know, got that kind of nipped in the bud even got an apology I think out of one of his sisters um, Dutch, Dutch Valley sisters and look at the reaction of course to him specifically when he got accused of it and how he kind of dealt with it and I think there is definitely a lesson to be learned there if you get accused of something as heinous as what he's been accused of you cannot just go and just allow it just to kind of die out and let the media stories sort of like rumble on social media it's not going to burn out this is this is not you know you being accused of stealing a kinder boy from a tesco express this is a pretty serious allegation you need to deal with in the most serious and also tactful and considerate way possible it needs to be dealt with humility it needs to be dealt with humbleness it needs to be dealt with as an adult and it needs to be just addressed in the best possible way pos in the best possible way to ensure that you can paint yourself in a way that makes it seem as if you're innocent and it also protects the people that are involved and unfortunately he didn't do any of that um if, if effectively kind of maybe inadvertently helped um the situation get out of hand and allow people to dox but that girl and in general and it to get where it had to get but hey if it's been nipped in the bud it's been nipped in the bud he said what he said i'd love to know your thoughts and opinions regarding it do you think it's true do you think it's not true let me know in the comments down below